Welcome to Zoo's family channel. Today we are discussing sets. In Python, a set is a built-in data type used to store collections of data. According to W3Schools, one, sets are designed to store multiple items in a single variable, and are one of four built-in data types used for this purpose. The other three are lists, tuples, and dictionaries. One important feature of sets is that they are unordered, meaning that the items they contain are not stored in any specific order. Sets are also unchangeable, which means that once a set has been created, its items cannot be modified. Additionally, sets are unindexed, meaning that items cannot be accessed using an index like they can with a list. One of the main benefits of using sets in Python is that they are ideal for storing collections of unique items. Since sets do not allow duplicate values, they can be used to efficiently remove duplicates from other collections, such as lists or tuples. To create a set in Python, you can use curly braces, or the set function. For example, hash creating a set using curly braces. My underscore set equals 1, 2, 3. Hash creating a set using the set function. My underscore set equals set 1, 2, 3. Once you have created a set, you can perform a variety of operations on it, such as adding or removing items, performing set operations like union or intersection, and more. Sets are a useful tool in Python for storing collections of unique items and performing set operations. By understanding the characteristics and functionality of sets in Python, you can more effectively use them in your code. While sets are not typically used as a primary data structure in database management or statistical analysis, they can still play a useful role in these fields. For example, in database management, sets can be used to perform set operations such as union, intersection, and difference between different tables or queries. In particular, relational databases, which are the most common type of database used in real-world scenarios, often involve complex relationships between multiple tables of data. Sets can be used to perform operations on these relationships, such as finding all items that are common between two tables or calculating the difference between two sets of data. Sets have several important properties that are fundamental to understanding their behavior and use in various fields, including mathematics, computer science, and statistics. Two of the most basic properties of sets are union and intersection, which are operations that can be performed on two or more sets to produce a new set that contains elements that are in one or both of the original sets, union, or only in both of the original sets, intersection. Another key property of sets is cardinality, which refers to the number of elements in a given set. The cardinality of a set can be used to compare the sizes of different sets and to perform operations such as union, intersection, and complement on sets. In addition to these basic properties, sets also have a number of more advanced properties and concepts that are important in various fields. For example, in topology and analysis, sets can be used to define open and closed sets which are important in understanding the behavior of continuous functions and other mathematical objects. In computer science and programming, sets are often used in data structures and algorithms to store and manipulate large amounts of data efficiently. Set-based algorithms can be used for a wide range of tasks, including data clustering, machine learning, and natural language processing. Overall, sets are a 
fundamental concept in many fields and have a wide range of applications in mathematics, computer science, and other areas. By understanding the basic properties of sets, such as cardinality and set operations, as well as more advanced concepts, professionals and researchers can gain valuable insights into complex data sets and develop new tools and techniques for data analysis and manipulation. Sets can be useful in statistical analysis as a way of categorizing or grouping data. For example, you might use a set to define a specific category of data points that share a common characteristic, such as all the data points that fall within a certain range of values. This can make it easier to analyze data and identify patterns or trends. Overall, while sets may not be the primary data structure used in database management or statistical analysis, they can still play a useful role in performing operations on sets of related data. By using sets in combination with other data structures and analytical tools, professionals in these fields can gain valuable insights into complex data sets and make more informed decisions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.